Let's go. Well, it's a nice sunny day today. So, guess what I'm going to be doing? I'm going to be installing my sexy knob. Right, here we go. Let's crack on. Um, right, let's get this out first. Obviously, this is the knob itself, which will go on into the front console area. Uh, front center console area, that's going to go in there. So that's that. I've seen uh, some reviewers, they've put this on first, people that have installed this before me, they've put this on first, but I'm going to go for this last. I'm going to go for the biggie. I'm going to go for the um, wiring first and put this in after. Uh, and you'll see why in a minute. Um, this, I know what this is now. This is to raise the knob a little bit. Uh, they go on here, whichever side you feel you need to put it on to level off the knob when you do put it in the center console area. Um, when you close the door, sometimes it's not level and you can just use these little strips here to just uh, level off your knob so it looks flush. Um, right, this now... Oh, I don't know what that is, but anyway, same thing, I presume, to level off. Um, right, the wiring. This is what's going to be my biggie. Um, and you'll see why in a minute. This is the wire that I'll be using. I'll be using this one. This wire here will be used for the rear. So, um, yeah, shut that down there. That's what I'm using. This is for the front, if you're going to do it in the front area there and draw power uh, from one of the A-pillar um, power points there. I'm not going to go for that one because you've got to strip off quite a bit of trim before you even get to it. And I've done it before. And what we don't realise as UK citizens is we've got a right-hand drive car. And uh, sometimes things don't work out as easy as the Americans seem to make it look. Um, that's the commander, obviously. But the problem I've got now is, have a look here. I've got one of these. I've got a um, rear screen that I installed last year, which I wish I'd have videoed, but obviously I didn't. I just installed it and it works and there's no record of it. So I can't show you guys how I did it, especially in the UK anyway. The Americans, they chuck them in all the time. But a UK uh, stall is a little bit rarer. So anyway, I'll open the doors, let you see how it looks when it boots up. So it's by Hanshow. And uh, yeah, it's got Bluetooth. You can connect uh, Bluetooth headsets. It's got Netflix, Netflix, yep, Netflix, I think, yep, Netflix, YouTube, and you can control uh, air, the climate at the rear. Switch the climate on and off. There's another bit which I did not connect because it meant that um, here. There's another bit where I can control the seat. The rear occupants can move the front passenger seat backwards and forwards to create space so you could press this but I didn't wire it up because I didn't want the kids messing around with it moving the seats so that wasn't wired and basically what else can you do here's the air conditioning section I've got to switch on the air con from the front of the car so I need to switch it on from the front before the rear can control it. That's the only problem. They can't do it separately. So I'm pressing it and it's not working. So that's a bit of a no, but it does work when once it's on, I've switched it on. They can turn it up, turn it down, hotter, cooler, whatever they wish to do. And 
this is music right here it is that's the main screen as you can see there's Netflix there there's YouTube offline I don't know why it's offline it usually works if I said no I'm not sure why it's not getting any but hey we're not here to have a look at this it does work I just need to obviously sort it out somehow oh god how do I get out of here now I'm not the rear seat passenger you see I'm always at the front but as you can see it's got TikTok, YouTube, Netflix etc so yeah it does work um a new version of the apps found oh god I'm going to end up doing all this now so anyway that's that so as you can see let's whip this out take that out and that's the area I need to get so I'm going to take this bit out here and as you can see the problem I'm going to have this wire needs to go in but I've already got a wire in there for the screen. So I think one of them has got to be turned off. And it's going to be the screen. I'm going to turn the screen off, plug this all in and work something out to have the screen back on. And maybe use the uh, other wiring loom to connect it to the front but that's going to be obviously a longer process. I just want to get this up and and working in the car and uh, to show everyone how it does work. So, yeah, I'm going to do it the easy way for now. Right, let's put my hat cam on. The way I look, you think I was a professional installer. Not. <laughs> right, let's get the rear cover off. There's... Uh, one clip here in the middle and two on each side down here I'm going to try and get the one in the middle the top middle first plug that out with me spudger here I can get that pop it out so that's got that out and then just pull it with the claw and that should come out all right that's that out there and pull that out that's that. So as you can see, there's a top clip here and one on each corner there. So yeah, that's how to get that out. So right, I've got to the wiring, but as you can see, I've got a little bit more wiring than most. So what I'm going to have to do is disconnect all the wiring I did pressing it down but pressing it down doesn't mean you're gonna get anywhere let's get this spudge up oh that's better yeah best to use a small spudger to do the clip and while you're doing the clip you can push it out so that's come out so this is from the Tesla itself and this is all the wiring that obviously I did for the screen. Get the clip. So I don't know what I'm going. Yeah, let me pull it. Again. Oh, that's easy. Oh, that was really easy, that one. Oh, that was good. So that's the screen totally off now. Because uh, I had to run some wires up here. All, I had to take all this off. All this front bit had to come off for the screen. And the wire runs at the side here. So all I've done really, I just put it at the side here and uh, obviously that's out the way. So this is what would have come normally and that would have gone in there like with the, you know, just the Tesla stuff. But now I need this to obviously connect in there. Right, here we go. So right, I've got this and I'm now going to plug it in so this one now plugs in here click and it's very tight round here that's one thing you're definitely going to find out it's really tight and then this one goes in here 
Right, so that's that. So those two are clicked in now. Uh, hopefully you can see that. That's clicked in. Uh, and then this is for the commander. Oh, oh let's get the commander. And this just clicks in. Yeah, that's the right way. Just needs to hear a click. Click. And that's in. And that is it. You are set to go. That's all the rear done. I'm not going to obviously waste viewing time watching me put the cover back. I'm just going to show you how the install's done and that's it, all done. Now let's get to the front. Put my Tesla hat on here and let's do the easy bit. Right, let's uh, see if we can get this knob on. So first of all, let's see, as you can see, I've already got something there. This is quite good as well. Look, switch it on and it's uh, <laughs> disco lights. So when you're pumping your music, and you can have a bit of lighting here as well. Obviously got a power charging port there to charge my phone and whatever. A couple of USB A's and a US two well one USB C charging and one USB C for uh data. So um yeah, and two USB A's, same thing. Um yeah, so that's it. But that's got to go because I can't have both of them in at the same time. Well, no, I can't. I was thinking maybe I could, but no, I can't. Okay, let's uh, take this out. So switch that off. And I've got one of these slidey things here, trays with me. Joa, they're a very good brand. Uh, yeah, this is for playing games, etc. On the Teslas, you can play loads of games. And they've updated it with some really nice games now. So that's that. Let's uh, push that back. Oh, God, look at this. That's another one. You can tell I've got two kids here. <laughs> one each. So let's whip this out. So let's take this out. So it's just to plug this out here. Get these two, um, obviously, USB-C uh, plugs out. And then just take it out like that. Just give it a little twist and it comes out. So that's what that is. Um, so yeah, it's good. I've had that for a while. Uh, but that's got to go now. So let's chuck that in the back there with all my other old Tesla accessories. Uh, and then put this in. So, yeah, this goes in. As you can see, there's a car, if you can see, there's a car symbol there. That's where you need to plug this wire that came in the box into. So that just plugs in here. So, yeah, car on the left-hand side. And then you plug the other end into a USB-C port. And as you can see, it starts booting up. And that's it. All good to go there. So everything's working. Um, let's uh, put it in. So what I've done here is just push it there and then just give a little push and it will just clip in. There's no twisting with this one because obviously it's too long. If you twist it, you, you need a lot of space. So it's just a quick push in and that's fine it will go in and I've been quite lucky because some people have said that their ones left gaps it's not level and whatever and watch this to me it just goes in whoop, lovely nice and flush no problem there closing the door nice and flush I mean I'm not gonna uh, you know cut hairs and Try and get it looking like I, uh, uh, um, like it's um, what do you call it? A millimeter precision thing. It looks good to me. No one's gonna say it's a problem. And uh, so yeah, I'm not gonna use no sticky bits and all that. 
to, to, to lift it and all that kind of stuff. That's fine for me. That's fine. Opens, closes. That's great. That's all done. All left to do now is to connect the app to the commander. I've already got the app because I had the sexy buttons on my Model 3 back in the day. And um, yeah, it's great. So when the sexy knob came out, I thought I'm on, I'm on this. So let's have a look at the app. Right, that's it guys. All done, all connected. Let's have a little scroll through the knob. These are the different pages that I can see here. That's great, look at that. Just a nice little, reminds me of my Audi. I had an Audi Q7 and it had a little knob here and I could turn it and it uh, made things much easier to get to. This is a little bit more advanced because it was just a knob with no display, but this has got a display with different pages. But hey, let's get to the sexy app and let's see how that works. Let's connect everything up and uh, Hopefully it will work. Commander, let's get the commander connected. So it says connect, connect a new commander. Let's do a search for the new commander. Great, this is wonderful. Right, it says commander connected. Great, that's all done. The first thing I'm gonna do, which they always tell you to do, as I didn't do with my app, I had the old app as I had the sexy buttons before so I had the same app and it didn't work because I did not update the software so <laughs> I didn't update the app so I updated it and it's all good to go now so let's update the firmware that's the first thing let's get the firmware updated that's what needs updating they've done a few things there right let's get that going preparing the update 1% 2% 3% I won't bore you guys I'll see you later so that's a hundred percent done and now updating so that's great it's going through its bits commander connected again it's most probably rebooted updating everything that needs updating and should be good to go. Success! Woo! Let's press that done button. And uh, yeah, let's see what you can do with this baby. Huh. It makes a nice little sound. I didn't notice that before. Oh, I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> anyway, let's see what it can do. The first thing I'm going to do, because it's so cold here, it's winter in the UK, I'm going to try the fan speed. Let's put the fan speed up. I think I'm going to have to turn it on first. All right, let's turn it on and see what it does. Yep, that works. So I've just turned the fan up. The only thing I've noticed, it doesn't correspond to what's on the screen. Let's put it on 9. It's still on 3 here, but as you can hear, it is blowing. It's showing 9 here, but obviously, as it was, I set the car at 3. So, yes, it uh, doesn't work that way. Let's turn it down. It's great it works on the knob that's why the screen is there so you can see what's going on because when you operate this sexy knob you will not see the exact same thing on your Tesla display as you can see I've got it on six here seven here and it's showing three there so yeah that's the reason for the screen right let's have a look at the presets that were on here left seat heating uh, that's showing there that's great 
right seat heating let's test it put it on right it's not showing it on here but obviously it's showing ah right okay let's look at this right in regards to the seat heating I've noticed something I've got it on three here and you can actually operate it from the screen here so if you look at this here I've switched it off I'm going to switch it on and it comes on two bars yep one that syncs up that syncs up that's great so touching the Tesla screen syncs with this sexy knob but if I do it the other way the sexy knob doesn't change the Tesla screen as you can see that's off well it's showing off on the screen one nothing two three nothing no so yeah it seems to be a one-way thing whatever you touch on the screen shows on the knob but not the other way around we've learned something let's uh, try something else and the seat is getting warm so that does work right let's go back to the home page uh, which you press the knob down to get there that goes back to the home page so that's what I was just playing with there the seats and the climate um, the fan speed let's go to the next page um, that is what that is cool. uh, autopilot I'm not driving so that ain't gonna work regen again I'm not driving that ain't gonna work chill right none of the oh, open glove box oh look at that <laughs> that worked open glove box hey okay I wish I could press it again and it closed but no it's just doing the click as you can hear so uh, yeah that's a manual job okay right this is the next page these are all the presets this is what it came standard with I didn't touch anything I haven't done anything on the app as you've seen there but that's going to be a bit more uh, not complicated but a bit more thought will go into that because I'll need to know what settings I want to put in the app but what's on it as standard is this this is what I presume is the window wiper or oh, auto wipers yep it is the window wiper uh, let's turn that off oh god it's yep that is the window wiper and it is working the reason why you can't see it is because it was so bright surprisingly I've put my sun visor or blackout visor there to keep the sun out so that's why you couldn't see the windows the window wipers moving <laughs> I've taken off the windscreen blackout screen and you can see why I put it there because you can't see anything now look can you see anything look at this. the uh, gloss coming off there so yep I'm gonna have to put it back but what I'll do I'll show you the window wipers let's put some water on there because I've got a screen covering on my windscreen and uh, it's plastic to protect the windscreen if there's a stone that wants to fly on the screen and smash it because they're quite hard to get Tesla windscreens when you want them and uh, but I'll show you now here it is that's it let's put a bit of water on it I don't want this thing scratching it that's it so as you can see that's two three four that's going so you can control it from here basically putting it down and I've put it off right okay. let's put that blackout screen back again because it's a bit too bright right that's better now you can see what's going on look at that nice and clear okay what next um, volume okay that's the volume I don't want to get a copyright strike here you know uh, so I wonder if I can just turn it down and uh, 
see if we can get that's it I think you heard that yep yeah, that's it that works the volume right let's go to the next thing dome lights oh yeah that worked dome lights are on dome lights are off on off that's great yeah that works that's all good stuff oh unfold mirrors oh that's working look that's coming folded folded mirrors let's press folded great look at that so you can do your mirrors from here as well great stuff so that that is let's go back to the main screen and this, oh that was the last page okay guys that is that so we've kind of gone through all the the uh, what's this oh right okay okay that is to change gear wow look at that park reverse obviously i'm not pressing the i'm not pressing anything so nothing's working but it's working if i want it to if i press the brake pedal so that's great that's in the middle there yeah, i didn't know that you press the middle and that's your parking parking brake your drive reverse whatever okay that's good i didn't know that so you can actually start your car from there if you didn't want to obviously touch your stalks you can do it from the sexy button oh that's really good wow i like that what was this i was going oh that's why i found it because i'm pressing on here when i'm supposed to press here that's the dome lights again oh anyway dome lights you got me finding a new function by doing that now i know you just press the top and that's your gear selector wow i like that one right okay let's press the middle there precondition okay, right i get it now press the middle let your temperature all these things press it it goes back then you press your buttons for what you want done as far as these are concerned that's showing on the screen and um yeah i like that that's good by making a mistake i found something very useful press that precondition straight away press that select your gear guys that is it that is great okay well that is the knob okay everyone that's my sexy knob review done hopefully it's helped you and you've seen how it works from a uk perspective anyway because everything's american that i've seen so this is a uk perspective and uh, yeah it's great as i said earlier i had the sexy buttons i had four sexy buttons but the only problem with that was it worked the same way i could you know operate things but you had to remember which button did what and uh, if you didn't remember you'd press something and think oh no it's the wrong one but the sexy knob, which is much, much clearer as far as that's concerned with the LCD screen there, you can see exactly what you're pressing and what it's going to do. So it's highly, highly recommended uh, from a Tesla owner that all Tesla owners should be getting this sexy knob. It's really, really uh, a great addition to any Tesla. There's much, much more that you can do with it via the app, which can obviously preset or, well, change the presets, obviously, of what the buttons are currently showing now. So I'm sure there's much, much more other things you can do, which I haven't done, but I'll do later when I've decided what I want to have on my sexy knob. <laughs> okay, so you won't be hearing that from me anymore. Anyway, if you liked what you've seen, Give a like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, plenty more Tesla stuff coming up. Um, I think you've seen me car. I've got a few bits on here which I haven't uh, really shown. So until then, you all have a great day and catch you later.